talking about an update on the transit for the month of November. November has lot of intensity as we have total lunar eclipse where moon our emotions are eclipsed. Emotions will be ruling the most of this month and it is important to remain in a very balanced state as there will be lot of fluctuation in the event that is happening. The stability will be missing here. With November, we also reach a master number 11. The total is 2 and has all the qualities of number 2 represented by moon. We also have double 1 in number 11. 1 is the number represented by the sun. Number 11 is charged with karishma, leadership and inspiration with it. Basically, 11 number triggers our sensitive and intuitive side. We can be very expressive and open-minded. It is emotional in nature. So, expect intense responses from everyone around. So, be cautious and gentle in your reactions with others. The month starts with some challenging conjunctions of Ketu with its dispositor, Venus and then Mercury and also Sun. Any connection with Ketu either separates or restricts the signification of that planet it conjuncts. With Sun, it will shake your confidence. With Mercury, it will restrict your communication and even confuse you by blocking your thinking. As Ketu has the capacity to crush your expectations, degrade you or show you the reality in the most harsh manner. These conjunctions with Ketu can break your stubborn belief systems which were not working for you or in favor for you which can also open new opportunities in front of you. All these planets have aspect of mighty Saturn. The planet of suddenness is Uranus and also Rahu. Expect some final and lasting corrections in your work zone and also in your relations. Do remember that these are just transits and shall pass soon. It is always good to know, be aware of the timeline to take the right action and react accordingly. On 3rd of November, we have Ketu and Venus conjunction at 19 degrees of Libra. This can influence your love relations, emotions, partnerships of all kind, personal and close relations the most. This conjunction also impacts our ability to manage tough and controversial situations. So be alert with the way you express and talk. Ketu will encourage letting go and can separate you from unwanted or toxic relations. Also on 5th of November, we have Ketu and Sun conjunction at 19 degrees of Libra, which can impact you at soul level. Sun Ketu conjunction can touch strongly your confidence, your leadership qualities, the way you express yourself. There can be some strong or absolutely no expression from your side. We have Saturn's 10th aspect on this Sun Ketu. This significantly impacts the way you deal with the authorities and also it is best to avoid any conflicts with the elders. Then on 7th of November, we have Ketu and Mercury conjunction at 18 degrees of Libra. This can have the power to spoil your documentation work and create lack of clarity in your communication if you are not cautious. Expect sharp and cutting conversations or even some headless communication which can easily turn into conflicts. With Ketu Mercury conjunction, expect 
excessive tox or total absence of tox or separations in relation there can be some extreme situation things which has started with partial solar eclipse of 25th october can see its completion with this total solar eclipse of 8th of november in bharni nakshatra at 21 degrees a lunar eclipse has the power to bring the major changes and redirect the course of our action and bharni is a nakshatra of transformation that generally comes after a sudden end or death of something and which changes our outlook on life completely now we see things differently after that experience so this eclipse can be a point of major shift in energy transformation where we may struggle with survival issues the most active sign will be libra in the first half of the month with four planets ketu venus sun and mercury in libra also all these planets will cross ketu in swati nakshatra which can give some sudden end and change in the direction till 10th of november we have libra sign and air element its significance like thoughts intelligence communication as a dominant factor and libra is people focused sign believes in harmonious relations balanced emotions and handling tough matters in the most diplomatic way we have eclipse in the opposite sign to this libra that is aries which is self focused and individualistic sign aries encourages independence leadership courage and confidence there can be struggle to balance between both of these energies of aries and libra in the first half we may deal with all these in the first half of the month till all these energies shifts to scorpio and that is in the middle of the month so in the second half the water element will be very prominent and its significance like deep emotions intuition and our sensitive side can be very active we also have mars the lord of scorpio in retrograde motion but on a positive side scorpio and the planets placed there will have jupiter's ninth aspect jupiter is almost stationary at 4 degrees of pisces then on 11th of november venus will move to scorpio sign there will be passionate need for deep love strong emotions and fixed approach as far as feelings are concerned this will be the time where we may see some transformation in the way we deal with our intensity our feelings of what scorpio represents in our chart and what was pointed out by the eclipse within 2 days on 13th of november mercury will also enter scorpio sign changing our thoughts the way we communicate and the matters which mercury represents in your chart may significantly change from here scorpio is not a friendly sign for mercury and the lord mars is retrograde this can bring some deep and rigid thinking even expressing the same will be very difficult then on 14th of november mars will re-enter taurus in retrograde motion to do some unfinished task this is the time to revisit the area of your life where you have taurus in your chart you have to work on your values finances and family in general and you may get what you have missed earlier rewards and the success of your hard work jupiter is 11th to this mars and has the capacity to fulfill all your desires and wishes mars will be in its own nakshatra so it can give some strong results this will be the best time to finish all the pending task of 
Taurus sign in your chart. Then on 16th of November, Sun will enter its friend's sign, Scorpio. And we have Mars retrograde in Taurus, right opposite to Scorpio. And with this, the second half of the month, we have three planets in Scorpio. Sun, Mercury and Venus with an aspect of Mars, its Lord and also Jupiter. Scorpio is a fixed water sign and intense, very passionate, fearless and mysterious sign. With Scorpio, the natural eighth sign of the zodiac, change is unavoidable. Then on 23rd of November, Jupiter goes direct in Pisces at 4 degrees. This change will bring a sense of relief and optimism in the environment. Now the growth and the expansion can come easy with direct Jupiter in Pisces. Also as Jupiter will move forward, it brings good fortune and opportunity to expand in all areas of life. There will be hope in achieving the rewards that you have been waiting for. Then on 24th of November, we also have new moon in Anuradha Nakshatra at 7 degrees of Scorpio. This will be very significant for everyone. As this new moon will decide the type of transformation we can expect in this coming time. The Lord of Scorpio is retrograde in Taurus, right opposite to it. So something related to Taurus sign and its significance in your chart may get transformation in some manner. Lastly, on 30th of November, there is Mercury and Venus conjunction with opposition of Mars at 25 degrees. Interestingly, even Saturn is at 25 degrees in Capricorn. Expect mind game and intelligent action with this aspect of Mars, but avoid any heated arguments as even that is possible. We also have Jupiter's auspicious ninth aspect on these planets in Scorpio sign, which ensures some positive development. The entire month can be happening one and full of events. Let us check the impact for all ascendant signs. There will be suddenness in general and unexpected things can happen. Do check Libra and Scorpio sign and their significance in your individual chart. These two signs will be very active throughout this month and demands our attention and proper handling. We need to be alert and patient with each other. Another interesting point for the month of November is Jupiter and Saturn will be together in Leo Navamsha. Navamsha generally gives internal results. We feel that way. And whenever we have Jupiter and Saturn in conjunction, we have complete and total results of that sign. Expect your long-awaited and strong results of Leo sign in Navamsha of your chart. Leo is a fixed fire and dharma sign. Impacts your duties and responsibilities the most. With all the strong changes and emotional impact of Libra and Scorpio sign in your chart, we may also have some opportunities to explore for our growth. Let us see the impact for each ascendant. Talking about Aries sign. For Aries, the month may test your patience and your strength. It may impact you personally. The focus will be on self, your close relations, your finances, inheritance, health and making necessary changes in all these areas of your life. Taurus, this month you need to act responsibly in your personal and professional life. A lot is happening on both these fronts. Expect major changes and opportunities when you need to choose very well. Your day-to-day -day life is changing, foreign travel is likely and your relations may demand your time and energy. Gemini, 
expect increase in your responsibilities also work in general this month your wishes and desires will get fulfilled your talents will shine watch over your health and your expenses maintain your routine and carry out regular exercise for your good health cancer november can be very productive in terms of your home life career personal happiness rewards desires property matters even relocation or renovation of your home is very likely you can also have change in your vehicles bonding with your family will be better especially with your children the stock market activities should be handled with patience leo you have great strength this month to endure and manage tough matters the aim is to achieve balance in your work and personal life you may learn new things and share the same with everyone you will be artistic and creative with your presentation there will be changes related to your home virgo this month can bring you some unwanted forced changes in the way you present yourself but it is good for your own growth so welcome any new changes and be very extra careful with your documentation work your finances family and have clear communication Libra you need to properly manage and take care of your family finances health and your personality you may have some materialistic gains avoid unnecessary arguments in your personal and professional life also do watch over your words and the way you communicate might need some alterations Scorpio there will be major changes with the month of November with some fresh start in the matter related to foreign country travel to distant places pay attention to yourself improve your personality health and relations manage your alone time have new fitness goals and have discipline in your daily routine Sagittarius time to achieve success in your desired goals invest your time and energy in the right direction focus on your health stay organized the aim is to achieve success in foreign country or matter related to foreign collaborations do some research do something exceptional using your talents and mostly if you are determined you will achieve success in your task just know that the new experiences relationships and jobs that you start now will have long lasting significance capricorn finally you will start seeing some positive results of your hard work your work is getting name fame and success this month is all about spending your time with your family new developments on home front property matters polish your talents and work on your new goals aquarius this is a good month for you especially in learning at higher level and communicating the same in the first half and in the second half you may focus and change something in your work zone or even home front this may not come easily but avoid any conflict with your bosses or higher authorities and also within your family pisces this month can bring long awaited breakthroughs and major changes that you have been waiting for in matter related to relation travel learning finances family all these things may have some changes stay flexible and open minded for everything that comes your way relations with your father bosses and authority figures should be handled properly that was about the impact on all the ascendants all in all november month has transformative energies The theme of the month is with lunar eclipse. The entire month lacks stability and clear vision. Do not be over sentimental. It is best to take one step at a time. Go slow and steady. 
there are chances of having indecisiveness in nearly everything that you come across so keeping up with your understanding and mindfulness will be the best help for you that was all about the month of november warm wishes to everyone with this month of november thank you for your time do write in your comments and queries and i'll see you all soon thank you